Hello, I'm Philip Burton of sqlintro.com and let's have a look at today's question. And today's question comes from Richard. Thank you very much for this question, Richard. How can I round to the nearest whole number in Excel? So rounding not just down or up, but to the nearest whole number in Excel. Well, there are several ways of doing this, but I'd like to talk about the round function. And here you can see round translated into 15 different Western European languages. So here we have a number of values and all of these would round to the nearest whole number to five or minus five. So we need to find a function that will create that answer and round does all of these. So equals round. So you can see rounds a number to the specified number of digits. So I'll, go, I'll then select what number we're talking about, in this case, the contents of cell A2, and then a comma or semicolon for certain Western European languages, and then the number of digits. Well, we want it to the nearest whole number. So I'm going to say zero. Now that's it. Press enter. So if I copy this down, you can see that all of these become five or minus five. Now there is another way that I want to show you about. So I'll just copy these numbers over here. And that's not actually using a formula at all, but using the number formatting. So if I click into here, I can change this so that it is a number format with zero decimal places. So let's see what happens when I do that. Now again, I have everything showing as five or minus five. In reality, it still retains the same value. You can see up here in the formula bar that this number really is 4.56. It's just that it's displaying as five. So this keeps the original numbers. So what's the difference? Well, if I put an if command, if this is equal to five, then say yes, otherwise say no. Okay. So you can see in reality, the contents of cell B are really five or minus five. However, if I copy this across, so is the contents of cell E2 really five? Well, no, it isn't. It's just displaying as five. In reality, it's 4.56. So this is how you can make it round to the nearest whole number in reality or in appearance. So thank you very much, Richard, for that question. I've covered this in some greater detail in the applying number format for displaying your numbers to zero decimal place. So video 77 of my beginner to intermediate. So if you'd like to know more about the courses that I teach, please come to sqlintro.com and you can get all of my courses reduced to just $10. So you can have 11 hours of beginner to intermediate or 10 hours of intermediate to expert training for just $10 a course. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you on the next video.